Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mod for Walton Vegas. This is James Seth Lynch and uh Yeah. Ugh, tired. One last episode to record for tonight, and then we're going to bed. Careful. They got spies all over. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. Who tried to make you talk? Confounded no you done it again. You let on that you know things. Now they'll never let you be. All right, stranger, you got me. What do you want to know? Why do they call you No Bark? Because they know I ain't just barking here. What I say is God bite, because it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull. And I know what I seen. <laughs> well, considering the doctor that they have, uh, what do you know about the abduction of Boone's wife? Seen it all. Seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. Thought one might have gone in the lobby too for a spell. Could be that person went in to get something. Or used a John, maybe. Mighty interesting either way, you ask me. I thought it was cannibals, come to eat us all for sure. So I kept out of sight. But now I'm no better. Who was it? More rat men. Come up from the underneath to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest designer appliances. They covered our lady folks long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. What's been going on in town? There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Work of the Chupacabra, the livestock vampire, says Nobark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says Nobark, we got a chupacabra with an automatic weapon. And that's when they get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. <laughs> what else do you know about the deaths at the corral? I come face to face with the chupacabra himself one night, whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He was the meanest, ugliest chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down ground. Best I could tell anyways, since when he come up to me he was invisible. Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. Never seen nothing like it. Walked right past me having an argument with somebody. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other one. Is there anything interesting happening in the area? Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey, cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. What do you think is actually at the factory? Ghosts. Kami ghosts, what don't know they're dead. Hoping to steal our rockets, so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. I seen one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. Although, being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual, what with the shock of seeing a commie ghost and so forth. <laughs> Goodbye. If anyone asks, we never spoke. No, we didn't, No Bark. No, we didn't. Doing a quick roll call. But the four man squad were pretty powerful, I must say. Alright. So apparently, someone came in here. Which is very suspicious, because who lives. who runs this place? Genie Meg. Hey there. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Tell me about Boone's wife. How should I put it? 
I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Everyone else in town immediately knew that she had disappeared and, you know, was captured. But she has a completely different story. Huh. What's wrong with Boone? Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. That's the quickest way out of this dump. You can jump out the window for all I care, mister. You got no right to come in here and start criticizing our town. Folks work hard to keep it clean and safe. We do the best we can. But still, there's always some of you finicky types that there's just no pleasing. Goodbye. Watch out for strangers. And that last bit was to see how she would react if someone didn't like the town, and it was quite explosive. Very suspicious, Jeannie Mae. Representatives of the council of the blah 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 Latin crap have this day began bargained and purchased from Jeannie May Crawford the township of Novak the exclusive rights to ownership and sale of the slave Carla Boone from the sum of 1,000 bottle caps and those of her unborn child to the sum of 500 bottle caps with recipient whereof is hereby acknowledged. We warrant the slave and her young and to be sound, healthy, and and slaves for her life. We covenant with the said Jeannie Mae Crawford that we have full power to bargain and sell the said slave and her offspring. Payment of an additional 500 bottle caps will be due for pending successful maturation of the fetus, and the claim of which shall be guaranteed by the possession of this document. And the Latin crap, Latin crap, the leg, and the Falcolictus. Hey there. Blah blah blah, Latin crap. So Genie did it. But we have to wait until night in order to do it. In order to kill her. She did it. There we go. Jacket flat point. Special ammo with the attributes of more damage, some anti-damage threshold. Oh, and more and tighter gun spread. That's nice. Very nice. Anyway. Uh, let's, let's see what we can make with the oh, other... Six, check out what I found. It's one of those pre-war magazines on, um... It's 
on a... Huh. Crap, I guess we can't make anything special. Well, I guess we don't have any more 5 millimeter 556. Yes, we're sticking with this for now. Can I just quick? No. Yeah, I wanna. I wanna not break down ammo for no reason. Okay, that's <laughs> uh, not good. We'll break down the 9mm simply because the 9mm is... Varying levels of useless. Look who's here. What brings you here? Okay, what can you tell me about Boone's wife? Boone. That's that sniper fella. Works in the dinosaur, right? I only met them but once or twice. They seemed real happy together. I really ought to get to know them better. They're probably nice folk. Huh. See, she says they seem perfectly happy together. How did Nobark get his name? I'm not sure who started it. It wasn't a very nice name, but he took to calling himself by it, so we all had to. I don't even remember what his real name is. Anyway, I think it comes from that expression that people say when you're crazy, that not all of your dogs are barking. Poor Nobark. What do you think of the people who live here? Oh, we keep to ourselves for the most part. Try not to pry. He may gets bothered that we aren't more sociable. But it's just our way. Ain't that we don't appreciate what she's done, managing this town like she has. But I worry she feels that way anyhow. Not that there ain't others who pry around here. That no bark was skulking around our yard last week. <laughs> I thought he was our cow killer. Was about to lash him with our bull whip till I saw who it was. He's harmless, though. Part of me wishes I could see things like he sees them. All full of mystery. I just wanted to meet you. Oh, well, I'm Alice. And that handsome stranger yonder is my husband, Dusty. Going on 50 years now. I keep waiting for him to leave me for some young thing with platinum blonde hair and hoop earrings. But he still sticks around. Says it's my cooking. I think it's because I know which Brahmin utter you can milk without getting kicked in the noggin. Oh. Goodbye. Nice of you to visit. Well, we're running out of time, so this has been James Seth Lynch, Juju Niner. The sun's too bright. Is the sun always this bright? Man, I need some new shades. Kelsey Love and Veronica. So, yeah, bye.